Do it. Do it. Do it now. What's up, Raiders? It's your boy, the Groovinator from RaidersLostFlicks.com. And this is the article that I meant to read yesterday, but I'm obviously a dumbass. <laughs> So anyway, Rosa Zalazar urges Alita fans to show Disney their demand for sequel, buy those Blu-rays. The movie's 404 million worldwide gross has left the possibility for a sequel in a state of open-endedness. Now, we I have said on my channel that obviously the Steelbook sold out and they had to reorder a bunch of them, at least so in Florida, but uh, I am going to try to go and get myself one of those Steelbooks next week. Maybe a couple of them, we'll see what happens. If, if, I, if I have the means at my disposal and I can find some, I'm definitely gonna go get some. Robert Robert Rodriguez's Angel Battle or Alita Battle God. Robert Rodriguez's Alita Battle Angel was one of the 20th Century Fox's final theatrical release prior to the Disney Fox merger with 404 million worldwide. The manga adaptation was far from the box office disaster many feared, while still not being a breakaway hit that makes a sequel a no-brainer. Rodriguez ended Alita with the clear intention of making a second installment, but whether new parent company Disney goes ahead with an Alita 2 remains a question. One person who is hoping for a sequel is Alita herself, Rosa Salazar. I would play Alita until my last last breath, Salazar recently told film. I would, and thanks to the performance capture technology, I probably could. Salazar said she has yet to hear any updates from the studio on the possibility for an Alita sequel, but she encouraged fans to do, do whatever they can to prove Disney that demand for another Alita film is real. Buy those Blu-rays, she said while confirming, but no, I haven't heard anything yet. Yeah, I mean, they have a crazy merger, Salazar said about Disney. People are g gaining jobs, people are losing jobs, the whole Disney Fox acquisition is so involved. This isn't the right time for me to call Alan Horn and be like, hey, bro, I know you got a lot of stuff going on, but like, what about Alita 2? No, call him. What about Alita 2? Do this. Now is the time to probably do this because the superhero bubble is going to burst. I, I can sense it coming. I can feel it. All right. And there's going to have to be something to fill that void because it sure as hell isn't going to be Star Wars. I'm just saying. Alita earned favorable reviews from critics and became a cult favorite among a certain contingent of moviegoers who have started championing for an Alita sequel on social media using the hashtag Alita Army hashtag. The first movie ended with the revelation that Edward Norton was cast as a villainous Nova who was often mentioned throughout the movie. Rodriguez later revealed he cast Norton with the intention of the actor playing a main role in the sequel, even if he was unsure a sequel would get made. Other minor characters such as Michelle Rodriguez's mentor, Gelda and Jai Courtney's motorbike ball champion Josh Jashungan were very briefly included in the Alita in hopes of fleshing them out more in a sequel. There was almost no way to tell the story without including those people, Rodriguez told ComingSoon.net. You have to get a sense if Alita had been trained before by scenes with the Michelle character, you have to see Gelda at some point. They're talking about the game is how the game is played. Jashungan is one of the major players. He has a much bigger role later in the books. We didn't want just we didn't want to just put somebody in. What if there was a sequel? We had to cast three people without really having a part for them to be bashing it on to see if they wanted to do it. Learn to read with Hooked on Phonics, the musical reading program. Hooked on Phonics works for me. Call 1-800-ABCDEFG. Next up for Salazar is a starring role in Amazon's Rotoscope series, Undone, which premieres Saturday, September 13th. I did talk about that yesterday. I kind of discovered that trailer by accident. That was not something that I was aware was coming out. But um, here it is, coming from Rosa Salazar herself. She's telling you to go buy those Blu-rays. So you know what? I can't stress enough, not just Alita, buying a Blu-ray in general. Buy some kind of physical media, because I have a feeling that the industry would like to phase physical media out. If you've noticed, Best Buy has cut way back on their Blu-ray, they're clearancing a whole bunch of them out. Shit. Walmart's doing the same thing. Blu-rays are pretty much just gonna be relegated to one or two walls in the store. Everything's going digital, and that bothers me because you don't really own digital. They might say you can, but there's too many ways in which those things can be tampered with after you buy them. And I don't want anybody messing up my stuff. At least I know if it's printed on a disc, they're going to have to literally break people 
that want to edit things will have to literally break into my house to edit my physical copy. Besides that, they just look damn cool. You guys saw the unboxing video. At the time of this recording, that unboxing video has like 800 some views on it, not 800 subs. I'm just saying, if you watched the video and you liked it, give me a sub, right? You know, it's, it's too much to ask for, but hey, I understand, you know, it is where it, it is what it is, but yes, please buy those copies. I can't stress that enough. I'm glad to be talking about Alita news because everything else is just so grim right now. You know what I mean? And Alita is one of those things that is not grim. It shows signs of promise. I am concerned, however, that Disney unfortunately owns this franchise. And because of all the backlash that we gave about this versus Captain Marvel, I have a feeling that they're going to probably say, well, we ain't putting that movie out. And if we put it out at all, we're going to give it like a nothing budget, which means that it'll have to struggle really hard to compete with the first movie. You know what I mean? Also, I think that Alita probably would have been a better movie to put out in the summertime versus February 14th. You know, it, it, this is definitely a, a blockbuster film, an action movie that definitely deserves to be in the summer where we are having crappy Disney remakes like Lion King and, and Dumbo and, and Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin. Anyways, there it is coming from Rosa Salazar herself. Buy the Blu-ray. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it! Do it, all right? Go out and buy it. Get your fans to buy it. Rosa Salazar wants you to buy it. What more can I say, all right? This is the Groovinator signing out. You guys have yourselves a groovy day. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining. Please remember to depress that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you'll be the first to know when new content is published. Please visit RaidersOfLostFlicks.com for more hilarious entertainment and links to all of our social media platforms. Also, consider supporting us on Patreon. As little as a dollar a month supports our worldwide digs for more Lost Flicks. Thank you, and have a groovy day.